I have three Excel files here and each Excel file contains shipment information reports for different regions. What I'd like to do is combine these three Excel files into one master table. However, I'd like to keep these files intact as well because I will be separately editing these files. So I would like the master table Excel file to update as I make changes in this file as well. So I'll be showing you how we can merge these three Excel files all together using Power Query. Now, as you can see in my documents here, I have a folder called Shipment Reports and that contains these three Excel files. And some things to note here are that these files don't have an Excel table in them. So I haven't formatted this as an Excel table. The second challenge here is that as you can see, the column headers are taking up two rows. OK, so we're going to be needing to do some cleanups in Power Query when we add this data as well. So let me show you how we can combine these three Excel files in Power Query while keeping this dynamic so that whenever we make changes in any one of these three Excel files, then Power Query can pick up and add to those changes as well. So first thing I'll do is I'll open up a brand new blank Excel file. Now, once this Excel file is open, uh, it's a good idea to save it. And one thing to make sure is that when you save it, don't save it into the same folder as your files. So in my case, my shipment reports folder contains the three Excel files that I'll be merging and I won't save my master table into this. Otherwise, Excel will think that this table, this ex new Excel file also needs to be part of the master table and it's just going to complicate things. So make sure you save it outside of your original folder. So once I've saved it, in my case, I, I won't be saving it. Um, I'm just going to go into the data tab into get data from file and from folder. And then after I select this, I'm going to locate my folder. So I'm going to find my shipment report folder and I'm going to load it into Power Query. All right. So now it's being loaded into Power Query. As you can see, um, these are the three Excel files. Uh, we had our central shipment report, east coast report and west coast report. I'm just going to go into combine and transform the data because I want to combine all three Excel files into one. And then I also need to make some changes, which I mentioned earlier. OK, so now uh, once I click on combine and transform data, it's going to give me this box over here. Now I need to choose a sample file. Our sample file is the one that we will make the changes to and that's going to reflect our master file. I'll explain this further once we get into our Power Query editor. But for now, I need to choose a sample file. So I have three files, Central, East and West, and I can choose any one of them. OK, the first file is automatically the Central Shipping Report. But in my case, I can choose any. So I'll choose East Coast Report and Sheet 1 is where the tables are. And as you can see, here is the table for the East Coast report. And I will press OK after that. And this should open up the Power Query editor. So here we are. We have the shipment reports over here. This is the consolidated data which we've combined. And we can see the source name. So central uh, shipment report has all of these rows. And then we have the East Coast report and the West Coast report. As you can see, we have the column headers that are occurring repeatedly. Um, so we need to fix that as well. So what I'll do here is I'll go into the transform sample file. As you can see, the column headers are taking up two rows. So we have shipment ID followed by ID. And, you know, in our source file, we had the same issues where the columns were taking up two rows. So how do I fix this? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel on promoted headers and I'm going to remove that step. The second thing I'll do is I'll go into transform and transpose. And I'm going to go ahead and merge these two columns together. So column one and column two, I'll just merge them together and I will give it a separator as a space and press OK. And then I'm going to go back and transpose the data once again. And as you can see, now we have a consistent titles that are in one cell. And then I can go ahead um, back to my home tab and use first row as headers. And then if I go back to shipment reports right now, it's showing an error. So I'm just going to go into my changed type applied step and I'm going to remove that step. And as you can see, now we have all of the data we needed and it's all consolidated into one. 
However, there is still some changes I need to make in Power uh, Query before I leave right now. Uh, one thing I'll do is I'm going to remove the first uh, column over here just because I don't want it. So just remove that column and there we go. So we can have all of the information over here and this will be dynamic. So whenever we make changes to the source file, any one of them, the east, west or the central one, then this will update as well. So I'm just going to close and load and this should make this data come as a table in an Excel file. And as you can see, we have the Excel file right over here. And this contains all of the information that we generated. So that's why you can use Power Query to combine tables from different Excel files. As long as those Excel files are in the same um, folder within your documents, and you can also clean up the data as you go. And as I said, once again, this is dynamic. So whenever source data changes, this will change as well. And this way I can respect the integrity of my existing files. So these files are still there and I haven't made any changes to them. However, when I do make any changes, they will reflect on my master table as well. Once again, just make sure you don't save this table, this master uh, data in the same folder as your other child data. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.